What is going on guys and girls? My name is James Orthixia yeah, and welcome back today to a brand new Minecraft adventure. Today we are going to be playing Solve It Case 3 Danger on the Set. So to be honest with you, I should have said, hello, my name is Detective Thanksia yeah, because I think this is kind of like a crime solving murder mystery Minecraft Hollywood style map. It should be really, really fun. And yeah, we have spawned in this room. So it's very, very pretty. Look at these. We've got some really, really fancy lights. Lamps. Wait a minute. Fancy lamps. Fancy lanterns. Oh, God. The fancy lamps are following me into different series. Crazy craft flashbacks. Oh, my days. They look cool, though. Look at this. They've got, like, a nice little sparkle on them. Very, very cool. Okay, so we've got a chest here to begin with. Now, this was in my inventory when I started. It just says read at car. So I don't know what that is. There's no car to speak of. So I guess we'll leave this for now. But we do have a couple of books here. So we've got a please read book. We've got a start button. And we have a thank you for playing cookie. Wow, I have never ever seen a map start with a thank you for playing cookie. Wow, they should do that more often. We'll all be a little bit chubbier, but we'll have cookies. So that is a plus. <laughs> okay, okay, let's get started. So recap, you have been hired by Solve It Incorporated after solving the mystery of the missing cornerstone. Right, so this is a different map. We haven't played it yet, but we can go and play it again. You don't have to play them in order. So basically, we're a detective. So you, um, you then successfully completed your first official case by... Uh, at the Strata Castle by uncovering the mystery of the Queen's Helm, which we haven't played yet. Don't worry, th there's no like overlap stories and stuff, so we can play those maps later if we want to. But I thought we'd check out this one first anyway. So anyway, we've got some rules here for what we need to do, which I think we are all good with. Make sure you keep keys in your inventory. Most importantly, have th fun. Thanks for playing. Thanks for making. Okay, so start button. Three, two, one, activate. Woo! Another day, another case. I hope. I have two things to do before work starts. Check my mail and pick up an order from the supply shop. Okay, that sounds like a pretty good day so far. We've got a fancy lamp in our room. I see you. Don't think I don't see you, buddy. <laughs> We're going to have words later. Oh, God. <laughs> I thought this was a villager or something. Custom clothes. Okay. Oh, wow. Can we, like, um, can we pick what color we want uh what color should we go for we could like do different colors but i think what we'll do is why don't we go for a very nice fetching shade of very very pink why don't we do that got a question for you guys who is the snazziest person right now huh is it you yep you i'm talking to you no wrong it is me <laughs> <laughs> look how snazzy I look. Wow. Amazing. Okay, okay. Let's carry on here. And let's see what's cracking. So we've got a few chests with some food. I'll take some of this food because I imagine maybe we'll need it. Although we have been told to play in peaceful. Um, so like health and stuff isn't going to be too much of an issue. Uh, this, more, this map is more about solving mysteries and stuff, which sounds amazing. I'm very excited. So is this like our house for rent? Oh, so we live like in an apartment building maybe? And boop. Hey, better head to the supply shop before work. Okay, dude. Sounds good. Oh, this is the train station. Really? I live so close to the train station? Dude, that must be super, super loud. It's like living next to an airport, right? You're probably not going to get very much sleep. There's just going to be trains and planes and stuff going past your house all the time. It's not a good start, is it? <laughs> okay, so what have we got here? We've got the Solve It Detective Agency. Fair dues. What have we got over here? We have the Citrus Books. Ooh. Ha. Huh. Citrus Books. That's a really cool name. I wonder if they sell lemons. No? Well, maybe they're just bitter. Okay, so <laughs> here we have the Odds and Ends Hardware Store. So I'm guessing this is where we need to do. So this is me. Hello. I'm uh, to pick up an order of notebooks. Okay. This is the cashier. Hello, dude. How are you doing? Talk to me. Talk to me, baby. Come on. I'm, I'm here and I want my notebooks. Hello, I am here to pick up my order of notebooks. Dot, 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 dot. Come on. Oh, I clicked these. Oh, it's one of these maps. Okay, so this is the cashier. Name? Uh, thanks, see ya. Ah, yes, that'll be one gold. Okay. Oh. Oh, it's actually taking gold from my inventory. That's cool. There you are. Excellent. Here you are. By the way, you work at the Solvits, right? Yes, I work at Solvit. Yes, I am a detective. Tell Homan his order is on back order. It won't be in until next week. Who's Homan? 
Uh, you think to yourself, better head to work, don't want to be late. Okay, dude, so we've got to tell Harmon, I'm guessing maybe he's like our boss or something, and we need to tell him that his order of stuff is on delay, but we have ourselves our notebooks and our very, very fancy pink gear, so pretty good. I'm not sure if this is like official detective uniform. You see, the whole point of being a detect detective is you're supposed to like blend into the crowd. I don't know if we are blending into the crowd, unless we go to like a pink clothes party, in which case, the perfect detective. Okay. Oh, hello. Morning, Mrs. Tari. Oh, no, it's a lady. <laughs> Morning, Punxia. Sorry, my, 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 my female voice is awful. I, I can only apologize. The garage. Oh, this is the car, is it? Okay, so maybe we read that book in a second. But who are you? Oh, it's Detective Harmon. Oh, who should he be? Should he be French? Oh, God, am I really going to do French? <laughs> I'm going to apologize in advance to anyone who is actually French. My French accent is appalling. So we're ready. Uh, thanks, you. Can I talk to you? Yeah, sure, sure. I wanted to discuss some of the resources that are available to you as a detective of this agency. <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> Okay, all right, go for it, go for it. As a detective of this agency, you have access to various resources. One of the resources we have is a science lab as the headquarters that can analyze various items you send in. <gasps> Whew, and breathe. Uh, just let me know if you ever have anything in your case that requires this. Okay, cool. So we've got like a lab which we can analyze stuff. So if I need something for my case, I can do that. Okay, sounds good. Uh, now, if you look in the mailbox, there should be another case for you. Okay, Detective Harmon. Oh, by the way, the cashier at the supply shop told me to tell you that your order won't be in until next week. Oh, great. Uh, thanks. You're welcome. The block could not be placed. Don't know what that means. Okay, <laughs> so we've got a lab if we need to do that. Um, what is this? Mailboxes. Okay, so we've got to check our mailbox. Are we the rookie detective? I feel like we are the rogue agent dossier. Okay. This is cool. Oh, look at these. The Queen Riddle's boots and the Spruton sword. Ah, okay, cool. So what is this? Okay. To whom it may concern. Hello, I am Angelica Castor, casting agent to the stars. You may have heard recently about a new movie, Rogue Planet, starring Tom Jetton and Susanna Scarlet. I am the agent for Susanna Scarlet. You see, there has been an incident during filming... I'd rather speak to you in person, lest the media somehow found out. Okay, so she doesn't want the media to find out. Uh, please send someone out to the set. Tell your guard caster sent you. Tell the guard caster sent you. Okay, sincerely, Angela Angelica Caster, agent to the stars. So she's like a super cool Hollywood agent, but there's something's happened at the film set. And we need to do it. Okay, so deposit dossier here to accept the case. Uh, let's put the dossier in the case. Yes! Uh, well, I guess uh, you get to see the styles of mine would. Uh, talk to Miss Tari before you leave. She will have something for you. Okay. Oh, man. I, <laughs> I hope the French detective doesn't have too much to say. I'm just saying. Okay. Uh, oh, this is Miss Tari. Oh, no. The female voice. Why? Uh, so you're going to the set of Rogue Planet. Very exciting. Well, you're going to need some stuff. Here's an ID badge, money, and the keys to the car. Best of luck. And say hi to Jetton for me. <laughs> He's an old friend. All right. I sent some romance here between you and Jet and Miss Tari. <laughs> Young lovers and all that. Okay, cool. So we go to the garage. Is this the car? I feel like this might be the car. It's raining. Ooh. All right, this, this is the car. What a sweet ride. Look at my ride, dudes. Are you jealous? This is an amazing car. So this is read at car. Whoa, there's a huge thunderstorm. Okay, so what does this say? Dear detective. Well, well, well. Three mysteries. You do not disappoint. Are you noticing anything interesting about all these mysteries? A common thread amongst them? Think about it. Something is going on under your nose. I will have more information when the time is right. Go home and relax now. I am sure you'll have another case soon. A friend. P.S. Toss this in the bin next to the car. It will destroy it like the last one. I hope this is the right car to read this in. There's no bin. Oh, God. Okay, we'll keep hold of the book just in case. But this is definitely the car. I'm just saying. Just saying. This is a large... Oh! Whoa! Are we here? God, Simon Telson. This is private property. State your business. I'm a detective, dude. Don't worry. How do we get out of this car? <laughs> We're trapped. Hang on, wait, wait, wait. I'm Thanksia. Miss Castor wanted to meet me. 
Yes. Come in. Are we in? Oh, the doors have changed. Whoa, that was cool. Hey, so the security guard has let us in. Pretty nifty. Oh, are you the security guard? Hey, dude, what's up? Hey, this is ID, please. Okay, okay, okay. So we've got our ID. Let's hand that in. Yes, here. Okay, fantastic. On his radio. Okay. Uh, Mrs. Castor, there's someone here to see you about that job. This is my radio voice. This is Angelica. Oh, no, she's a lady as well. <laughs> Angelica's quite a German name, so maybe we should do like a German voice for her. So, uh, okay. Great. Send them in. I will be in my office. She's quite a, like, a masculine-sounding Ger Oh, God, I can't do a female German. Can I do a female German? Uh, great, send some in. I will be in my office. Yes, we can. Amazing. <laughs> oh, this is a security guard. Okay, well, head on in. It's the first orange building on your right. Thank you. Okay, now we've committed to the female German voice. I'm going to have to do it. Oh, God, oh, God, oh, God. Okay, so what is this? The first orange building on your right. Is this orange, though? Is it really? It's kind of brown. You know what I mean? Okay, so is she in here? Hello? Hello? Oh, she's got like a laptop. Okay, cool. So, hello. How are you? Uh, yes, hello. <laughs> now, as I mentioned in my letter to the agency here, there has been an incident. During filming a few days ago, one of the sets fell on Susanna. Fell on her? Is she all right? Correct. And yes, she is. Luckily, it only hit her arm. It fractured her arm, but other than that... I should mention, by the way, I'm actually half German. <laughs> so, it's okay, dudes. Don't worry. Uh, well, you think, actually, to be honest, I'm half... I can... I can barely do a German voice. I can... I can... I can understand German quite well, but speaking it, not so hard. I'm okay. I'm not great. But anyway, so... Anyway... Uh, that was a little life story in the middle of an adventure map, because why not? Anyway, let's get back to the plot. The plot, James. The plot is important. Anyway, uh, that's why you are here. I need to, to figure out how this happened. Everyone keeps saying it was an accident, but I'm not so sure. Why is that? My client has been receiving some mysterious notes lately. I try to intercept them, but a few slipped through. Needless to say, she is rather on edge. So there's the plan. Uh, you are going to be her personal assistant while doing whatever she tells you to. Snoop around and try to figure out who is behind all this. Okay, so I'm going undercover as her, like, PA, I guess. Her, her like, handyman, I guess. Okay, so how can you be so sure it's someone on the premises? Uh, no one gets in or out of this place without going through the guards. Mail is filtered before it gets here. The note she had... Uh, to be put in... No, hang on. The notes had to be put in the internal mail system. All right, then. Oh, you talk so much, Anjak. <laughs> now, whilst you are here, you'll be staying in the temporary uh, on-site trailer housing. Here is your key. I left a few things around in your trailer to explain how things work around here. Why don't you go and get yourself settled? Then meet me by Susanna's trailer. Okay, I will do. Oh, why did we decide to do voices? <laughs> it was a terrible idea. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. So what we do now is we settle into our temporary residence trailer. There's a few things knocking about, which apparently we're supposed to take a look at. And then when we're ready, we will meet um, we'll meet her back at another trailer. So what is this? Era Shepherd's fabulous food truck. Wow, food orders. We can't do anything. What is this? Uh, paper. Okay, fair enough. So what do we got here? We have the shepherd's chef. Where's our living space then? That's the question. Um, oh, hey, here's the guest trailer. Nice. So is this my apartment key? How do I, how do I, how do I get in? Hang on. Car keys. Oh no, wait. <laughs> guest trailer key. How, how does, oh, there we go. Yes, I'm in. Oh, nice. Okay, so I had a little wander around this area. It's kind of cool. Like, it's all the different trailers and stuff for the movie set. So you've got the director's trailer and then the cast's trailers and all that kind of stuff. So apparently there's a few things lying around the, de uh, the, the department to the apartment that we need to check out. So to the detective. Dear detective, here is the rundown of the place. Rules, everyone in trailers after dark, keep your ID on you at all times. Under no circumstances are you to tell Susanna you are a detective. Okay, so we got to stay undercover when we are talking to Susanna Scarlett, who is the actress. And yeah, we need to basically keep an eye on her and also check out for shady stuff. So, we hear the people. 
Uh, Scarlett is the actress. Thomas is an actor, so I'm guessing this is the lead lady and the lead guy. Uh, Phil is the director. Simon is the gate guard. Kendra is Susanna's guard. And Ira is the chef. Locations, food trope, blah, 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 blah. And then the crater is where the incident occurred. Okay. Interesting. We'll keep that book on as that might be... Did you hear that? What kind of... No oh, it's the door. <laughs> I was wondering what on earth that was. Okay, so what's this? Computer software. Uh, oh, that's not what I wanted to do. Uh, dear Rookie, I have supplied you with this new laptop that has a few programs on it for an analysis. Uh, uh, for an an analysis on it that may be useful uh, for the case. Okay, here's an instruction manual on the desk. Hom oh, that was Harmon. Uh, instruction manual on the desk. There we go. We might as well keep the continuity through it because he's French. We've committed to that fact now, so we have to keep doing it. All right. Instruction manual. Handwriting analysis. Uh, an analyzer. So place main paper in top analyzer and place other papers to compare in the bottom analyzer. Right. So we are keeping those books right in there in case we use them. This is the analyzer. So this is going to maybe look at handwriting. So maybe we'll be getting some handwriting clues, stuff like that. We've got some paper inside here and we've got the toilet where we poop. Fantastic. Okay. So now we need to go and meet um, the PA at uh angela's trailer oh here we go uh, angelica caster okay oh she's the german lady isn't she Whew. well i hope you find the accommodation to your liking and have read the rundown of the place now since the incident susanna has an all-day guard service i've already spoke to the guard about you so you won't have to uh you shouldn't have any trouble Okay, I need to get back to work so why don't you go introduce yourself to susanna okay bye Oh, why there's so many ladies in this map. Female voices are so hard. All right, Kendra Jones. Uh, this is Jones. Oh, Kendra Jones's guard. May I help you? Yes, I am Susanna's new personal assistant. ID. There we go. Hand in the ID. There you go. Very well. I'll let Mrs. Scarlet know you're here. Mrs. Scarlet, your new assistant is here. <laughs> All right, so Susanna Scarlet, what's her voice? Can she be Scottish? I can kind of do that. About time. <laughs> It's a bit masculine, but we're going to roll with it. Are you sure they are safe? I, I mean, after all that's happened. I'm sure they're fine. I am here if anything happens. Very well, send them in. You can go in now. All right, he's he's kind of slightly morphed into being Scottish. Ignore it. it, it don't worry, it's good. It's a, oh, Okay, so this is this is Susanna Scarlet. Hello, Miss Scarlet. I am thanks to you, your new personal assistant. Uh, yes, Angelica told me about you. Don't know why she insisted. I get a personal assistant, but I guess she knows best. So, uh, what can I do for you? Uh, well, I'm rather thirsty. Go to that fridge down there and get me a bubble spring. Sure. Fridge. Where is this? Is this the fridge? A bubble spring. What? Uh, I can't read it. Hang on. Spicy tomato juice. Iced coffee mushroom. I'm guessing this is a bubble string. Oh, God. I, ca I can't even see it. <laughs> a mysterious bottle. That's what it's called. What? You think to yourself, that bottle doesn't look right. It looks to have been something. Oh, it looks to have been opened and a strange smell is coming from it. You think to yourself, that bottle doesn't. Oh, it's the same thing again. Okay. Uh, Miss Scarlet, did you happen to have an open bottle of something in here? No. Why? Uh, just wondering, there's a bit of water spilled here, but I think that it's just condensation buildup from the heat. Yes, no, my, my bubble spring? Looks like you're all out. Very well, go to the food truck and get me some, please. You think to yourself, I better take this bottle with me. Uh, things are already coming together. Susanna, what have you done? Mm, this is really interesting. So the plot is starting to begin here. There's shenanigans occurring and we're finding weird stuff in fridges. Uh, excuse me. Uh, Ira Shepard. Yes, may I help you? Uh, I am thanks to you, Susanna's new personal assistant. Susanna sent me to get her a bubble spring. Uh, ah, yes, that's her favorite. Well, I have the ingredients to make it, but I'm afraid I am getting ready for the dinner rush. Uh, could I make it? Absolutely not. Only the orders are only uh, only I know the proper ratio. But if you could help me get everyone's orders, that I can do. Excellent. I still need orders from Jetton, Divan, and the guards, Stuart and Angelica. Bring me back their orders, and I'll give you the bubble spring. 
You think to yourself, this will give me a chance to see who else is around here. Okay, sounds good. So we need to go around and pick up the orders of the people who are kind of working here. So we've got a list. Let's go and talk to this guard first because at least we kind of know him. Dude, hello, guard Jones. I need your dinner order. Uh, okay. Once I saw you heading for the food truck, I figured it wouldn't be long before Ira had you doing something. So this happens a lot? Yep. Here you are. Okay, Susanna. Who are you talking to out there? Is that my assistance with my bubble spring? Whispers. You better get going. I don't want her to be mad with you. Oh. <laughs> Okay, so we're getting a tip up from the guard Kendra Jones that she, Susanna, she's a star. She's a Hollywood star, so she might be a bit of a diva. You know, she might kick up a fuss. So we need to be careful. Okay, guest trailer. So let's go and visit some different people here and let's see what's cracking. We have the Connor Stewart. Do I need his order? Um, da, 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 da. Where did it say? Where did it say? Where did it say? Oh, God. Yes, we need his order. Okay, he's not actually here right now. He's not in the toilet, is he? <laughs> okay, he's not in here. Oh, what's this? Blueprints. Blueprints. What is this? Oh, it's a map. Oh, that's cool. Okay, so if we need a map, we'll pick that up. But we need to try and find some more people. All right, let's go and take a look around. Who are you? Oh, this is Thomas Jetton. Hello, Mr. Jetton. Uh, he might be quite posh. Hello, may I help you? I'm Taxi, I am Susanna's new personal assistant, and I am helping out the chef. Oh, let me guess. Susie wanted a bubble spring, and in order for you to get one, you have to do a favor for Ira. Yeah, how did you know that? Oh, let's just say you're not the only one Susie has asked to get her something to drink. I see. Well, here's my order. Don't let Susie work you too much. I like Thomas Jen. Jen. He seems kind of chill, you know what I mean? Uh, all right, so we've got his order. Who's this? Who's this? Excuse me. This is the cameraman. Yes. Uh, hi, I am your Scarlet's new assistant. Well, well, well. What sort of amazing things has she done? Uh, oh, no, he's quite... He's quite <laughs> I screw this up. Well, 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 what sort of amazing things does she have you doing? He's kind of like quite, quite South London. You know, in the UK, we've got like South London people and they talk kind of like that, you know? I'm sensing you have an interesting opinion of her. Well, she's certainly a bit dramatic. I suppose she she told you how someone is is out to get her because her the rigging malfunctioned, right? She may have mentioned it. This is a complex set. Things are bound to have issues. And I, I no, we're stuck waiting for her to calm down. Enough filming. <laughs> Enough to keep filming. Hopefully we can get filming back up and running tomorrow. All right, that would be good. Anyway, I need your dinner order, dude. Let me guess, Bubble Spring? Ha, <laughs> well, here's my order. You best be off. Try and stay out of trouble, mate. That was a little bit, that was a little bit Australian. We were trying to do South London. We kind of went a little bit Australian. Don't worry. <laughs> Maybe we can do Australian next. I'm running out of accents. I'm going to be honest with you, dudes. <laughs> the accents are running thin right now. Okay, so we've got three people's orders. We need a couple more, I feel. Who else are we missing? 